Patrick at Pals. And Sophie just got judged. And right next door is Larry and his 1948 Jeep Willys. And this is a special vehicle because you know the entire history on this car, don't you, Larry? Yes, yes. This is a family owned forever. My uncle purchased it and took possession, ordered it, took possession of it January the 7th of 1948. And uh, as today's money, he paid a whopping $1,420 or $40, $1,440 with a lot of the extras. Wow. Now, this this was used on a farm. Yes. yes. And, and it's pretty special. For instance, explain what this is right here. Okay. This is the governor. Okay. And inside, then there's a lever. You could you could adjust the governor's speed by pulling the lever farther. Uh huh. And you uh, engage the governor by this lever here. It's actually engaged right now. Maybe hard for you to see, but there's not engaged. Yep. And the belt. I have the belt off of it because uh, uh, I'm not going to use it, so I just don't want it running all the time. So, but then uh, you can control the speed without having to put your foot on the accelerator. You could be somewhere else. And now so this controls that now on this front okay explain that to me because it's not a typical bumper no the bumper is in its normal position right but this is a weight Since okay you farmed with it i believe this weighs 325 pounds and you and needed that because it on the back you could have a plow right or a, a, a disc any type of implement would be pulled with this right so that gives you just like you do farm tractors today Gives you extra weight up front, four wheel drive. Put it four wheel drive. You got both of us. Two of them just kind of spinning. That puts you more weight to give you more traction. More ballast. And, yes. and and explain this piece right here. Okay. Uh, the black part here uh, comes right straight from the the center of the engine. Uh huh. The transmission comes over here to run the back wheels. Okay. But so this is a direct drive right out of the engine. You've got a power takeoff shaft here. But this is a belt pulley attached, but you could run anything off of this that you could need to run a belt. And folks, if you've ever seen a, a, a grain mill being run by a tractor, you're going to see a flywheel like this, a belt drive, and it's going to have a wide leather right. belt on it. Right. And that's what this does. Now, you could also run like a, a saw off of this. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, my uncle, when he purchased it... Uh, uh, run it on a thrashing machine and that okay. belt, that belt would be 60 feet 30 feet from one side and you had to twist it uh-huh because right you had to put a twist in the middle or she'd run off run to the back, side or run backwards yep. yeah run backwards but you could run it backwards because the once you shift the uh, transfer case out uh-huh and, and in neutral you've got a direct drive back here and you can Reverse this the uh, uh, threshing machine. Right. You could go in first gear, second gear, or third gear. Now you've got to come up and explain these levers because okay. there's a whole bunch of them. I see a <laughs> stick shift okay. with with a clutch. Right. Right. But that, what are these other little guys okay. down here? This these two here. One is uh, throws it. Uh, you put these both in neutral, and then you can run the power takeoff shaft by itself. Or one is, uh, I think it's high speed right now, and you bring this one down, and you're in low low speed. So it's wow. actually got six forward gears. High speed, low speed, one, two, and three times six. Wow. Or times three. And this then, uh, once you put this in neutral, well, you don't have to if you're going to be mowing hay or something. This is your power takeoff. See, it's right straight through, right straight out of the engine. Wow. And that would drive your, your cutting? Cutting back of the back end. Wow. And run the thrashing machine. Now, this vehicle was bought brand new in 1948. Right. And then your dad got it in 1962. Right. And you had it titled to you. You actually had it before 1973. But right. in 1973, they titled it to you. You've yes. got all the documentation on yep. this. Yep. This is really spectacular. And it, and it, and it has... Uh, 70,770 original, original miles. miles on it. Now that the, is fantastic. Now, now, the engine's been overhauled because, you know, it's sat there running a thrashing machine. Absolutely. So, well, we did overhaul the engine. Folks, you don't see things like this unless you come to an AACA show. If you've got a 48, view, a 48 Jeep, bring it to a show. See you soon.